Hello, it's Brent with ProPride Industries. Today we're going to put together a 3P1400 on this Chevy Silverado and this Grand Design Imagine. So first what we're going to do uh, is if you don't have it or if you haven't received your hitch yet, you can actually do some pre-work or some homework per se uh, if you'd like. In the manual, we ask you to get some measurements done. So this is a fantastic time to get some of these core measurements uh, while we're shipping you your hitch. Uh, you can have this done and ready to go. Uh, it's on pages five and six. And you can tell in the new manuals actually too, there's a little uh, QR code on all these manuals now. So on specific pages, you're gonna have QR codes that are gonna link you to a video. It may not be this specific video, cause this is new, but it could be one of the uh, other videos that actually explain that step of the process on here. So you guys can watch every single step along with going with your manual. But let's go ahead and do these measurements on this vehicle and get these down. Something you can do even pre getting your hitch and uh, we'll go from there. So let's walk up here to the front. First one we're gonna get is the wheel well. So we're gonna get from the top of the wheel well to the ground. We're gonna get this on, we're just gonna get it on one side. You can do all four sides if you want, but really it's just important to get on at least one side so that you can use that as a base measurement. So when you're measuring, I just go from the base here up. It's gonna be like 37, 37 and an eighth is what we're looking at for this one here. So I'm gonna note that in my book, 37 and an eighth. So I've got that for later on. I'm gonna walk back here to the back now. So on the back one here, we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna take it from the ground up, and we are just at 37 and 7 eighths actually on the back. So this one's not too, uh, too off. These always have a bit of a rake to them in the back, and that's by factory, so that when you do put a load on it, it's actually gonna you know, fill out and be more level. It's not a big deal if it's not completely level, as long as that front fender is basically reloaded. That's what we're going for with this weight distribution. Um, not all vehicles need to be completely reloaded. We say to get within about a half inch. If you've got a three quarter ton or a one ton vehicle, it may only be about 75%. You can kind of feel that out and see uh, how it feels once you're towing too. But uh, we're gonna do uh, a load on this right now. Uh, so if you don't have your uh, if you don't have your hitch yet What we're gonna do is actually just put the load of the trailer on this just to see how much we're gonna settle and Based on that settle we can kind of get an idea of what our hitch bar configuration is gonna be So this is another pre-step that you can do before you get your hitch or when you've got your hitch But uh, it's a great little step that you can do to find out how much settle we're gonna have before weight distribution is applied So I'm gonna get to that here in just a second 